We would like to give a special thanks to MGA for providing us with this doll. Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Project MC Squared Michaela's Cocoa Bronzer. I have seen this online at Walmart for $19.88. For ages six and up. This doll comes with the Cocoa Bronzer Experiment, which focuses on art, math, and science. There are some simple instructions on the front. For this experiment, we will mix, fill, and wear. On the back of the box, there is a picture of Michaela, and it says, Steam Cocoa Bronzer Experiment. Humans discovered the recipe for chocolate almost 2,000 years ago. And I am glad they did. But cocoa powder, the basis of chocolate, wasn't invented until 1828. Cocoa powder comes from cacao beans, but it can also be used to make your own bronzer. To create your own cocoa bronzer, start by mixing cocoa powder with nutmeg and coconut oil. Then add the mixture to the bronzer case and use the puff to apply to your cheeks. Experiment with different measurements for endless combinations. Michaela McAllister. No case goes unsolved for Michaela. She was born to be a rock star with her burgundy moto style jacket. With faux fur shoulders, sequined dress, and signature plaid shirt tied around her waist. Going undercover never looks so rock and roll. At the bottom of the box, you can see her other friends from this collection. Check out their reviews in our Project MC Squared playlist. Michaela is the last one that we needed to complete our collection for this series. So excited! Let's get her out of the box for a closer look. When you're down and you stare out your window Hoping that you'll come out Out of the box, we have Michaela, the bronzer case, puff, and a comb. The doll does not come with a doll stand. That is one of my homemade doll stands. We have a video for that too. Michaela is wearing a burgundy jacket. It is faux leather with a wide lapel. There is fur at the shoulders and a belt with a buckle around the waist. This is a real belt. You can actually pull it and stuff. And you can pull it out of place, so just keep that in mind. She has on a white sleeveless sequence dress. It velcros in the back with a purple plaid faux shirt. It kind of looks like a bib, but when you wrap it around her waist and tie it in the front, it looks like a shirt tied around her waist. She wears purple and black shoes has gloves sculpted and painted onto her hands. She comes with three plastic bobby pins in her hair. Her hair is pulled up into a high ponytail. She wears glitter eyeshadow and a soft lipstick. Michaela is fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, and wrist. She can move at the hip and the knee. Her jacket does make it a little more difficult to pose the doll. And you have to be careful not to move the legs outside of their range of motion because they can very easily come off. I wonder if I can balance her to stand. Yay, I did it. Now let's take a look at that experiment. There are some instructions that are hidden between the layers of the doll box. It says we will need cocoa powder, coconut oil, nutmeg, which is optional, microwave safe bowl, teaspoon, heating insulated gloves, and rubbing alcohol. This is all of the stuff that is not included, so you will have to go and find them around the house. Adult supervision is required. First thing we have to do is clean up the case. It says to use rubbing alcohol, but I'm just gonna go wash it with soap and water. After drying it, it's ready to go. Here is my microwave safe bowl, coconut oil, unsweetened cocoa powder, a teaspoon, and here is the foam applicator. Unfortunately, I don't have any nutmeg, but it said that it was optional, so we're gonna carry on. Place two teaspoons of cocoa powder into the bowl, then two teaspoons of coconut oil, mix well, 
This can get a little messy, so make sure you are experimenting on a protected surface. Make sure you remove the spoon and then have an adult microwave this for 15 seconds. Caution, the contents will be hot. Pour it into the compact, like I'm making candy here. Carefully place it into the fridge for about 15 minutes to make our cocoa bronzer. Smells like chocolate. Then we use the applicator to get some out. It's kind of like chocolate. I mean, it literally feels like a bar of chocolate here. And apply it to the skin. Uh, on me, it's pretty much blending right in. I think I might use it as a lip balm, but it has a very strong chocolate smell, so that might have me thinking about chocolate all day. But it was a lot of fun to mix stuff. And you can always experiment to find the right combination that works for you. Thank you for joining us while we tried out Project MC Squared, Michaela's Cocoa Bronzer Experiment. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. We're making it.